Hello again. Today I wanted to show Portainer. Portainer is an open source tool for managing containerized applications. What we have here is my KVM system. It's on RHEL 9.1 and it's using right here, it's using Cockpit. So we can look at the Podman container. So since it's RHEL, I'm using Podman instead of Docker. Very similar to them. And as you can see right here, you can see the containers I'm already running. I have a Minecraft container for the kids and a couple of other dashboards that I'm testing out. And in here, you can see health checks, integration, shows you the ports, the redirects for the um, volumes, shows you how much memory it's using, CPU. But that's pretty much it on there. So Portainer will allow you to see a little bit more, um, but from what I saw in the documentation, it looks like it's focused mainly on Docker. So there's a couple of changes you need to make so that it'll work properly with Podman. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So here we go. So we are now on the command line for the same server. This is my Saturn server. And we're going to run the command to pull down Portainer, the community edition. What you want to do is first podman run dash D dash P. This is for the ports that we're going to redirect. The first one, port 8000, redirecting to internal port 8000 on the image. And also port 9443 for external and 9443 internal on the Docker image. Then this part is important. Privileged. If you leave that off, um, it will not see any environments and you will not and Portainer will not be able to see your Podman um, containers. We're going to name it. We're going to call it Portainer. We're going to say restart equals always and we're going to set up a volume here the documentations have it set up for docker.soc since we're using podman we need to make a slight change so we'll do run podman podman.soc redirecting to var run docker.soc colon Z. I'm going to make another volume. Portainer data redirecting to internal of the data folder. And finally, we want to tell it which container to pull down. There's a couple of different sources. We're going to use the one that's recommended in the documentation, which is from docker.io portainer port dash ce colon latest make sure I spelt everything right podman run dash d ports 8000 8000 port 9443 9443 privileged our name restart always our volumes this is the one for our data so that it'll persist and the container itself portainer ce latest all right let's run it file bar lib storage what's it saying it can't find it says it var lib containers storage volumes Just try portainer colon and then slash data. There we go. I don't know what was going on there. It's weird. Because I ran that command before and it worked fine with the underscore. Alright, so it's up and running. So 
not Docker. Pod pen, yes. All right, we see our two ports. Now let's go look. We got var lib containers storage volumes and there's the directory all right looks like it's working now that's all i needed to see now let's switch over to the gui interface now we see here in cockpit we see our new container this is portainer right here it shows you the integration the ports that are forwarded the volumes logs and it looks like we're all ready to go so what we're going to do is using the same host name because it's running on this server just using port 9443 so saturn at 9443 https we're going to say advance we're going to say continue and we are now on portainer yay okay now it wants you to immediately set up a new account so you have your username of admin change it whatever you want i'm going to use admin and we're going to set up a password of 12 characters or longer once you're done you can hit create user all right we're in now so we're going to say get started with using the local environment which portainer is running in And we can see here our containers. So let's click on here. Shows that we have four images, three volumes, four containers, four networks. So we can look under containers and we see the same ones running. This time, however, we have some extra stuff. We have stats. So let's look under stats for the Minecraft server. It's not really doing anything right now, so it's not going to really show a whole lot. You just give it a minute to populate and seeing that nobody's on it at the moment we are at zero percent on everything so we're we're good there and we can look under portainer itself we can see our images we can pull images we have our networks Our volumes that might be why because this is one we're using now so we can just it's unused so we can click this and say remove and remove it's gone we can look at the hosts we can set up other users environments so there you go um, pretty straightforward just had to make a couple of changes um, from what the documentation said if you are using this in a docker environment you can just do exactly what the documentation says on portainer site and it'll work just fine but a couple little changes needed to get it so it'll interface properly with podman other than that um, i hope you found this helpful and until next time have a great day everybody bye